Today's mobility training tip will continue our series on dynamic nervous system integration, focusing on the feet, our proprioception, our balance, our reaction time, and our coordination. That's what we're working on to build so that if we're on the court, we're on the mats, whatever sport we're in, our feet react in a fashion to where they're our ground, they're the ground based structure on the ground. If they're firing and they're working right, we can then expect increased performance on the court. So this part three, we're continuing that our same pipes as we've had before. Foam roll, PVC, whatever you can get your hands on that's similar to this. Four inch diameter, anything you can find. We're gonna place them like this, staggered one forward. If you have two sticks, we can use those to help ourselves balance here, or you can hold on to a wall or a ledge, okay? All we're gonna do is line our feet up straight here, and just roll them back and forth here. Back and forth. Let's try to keep them uniform and straight here. And once you feel good with that, like say you've done this and you're just comfortable with that, you, know, you don't even feel it breaking down that fashion so much, you just feel like, okay, just gliding on my foot. Because initially this will be kind of like, oh, my feet are tight. But for me, like it becomes more of a let's balance and challenge ourselves here. Let's go back and forth. Let's get that pipe straight and just keep going back and forth. And then we can switch legs. Which one's forward? And just go again back and forth. We're going to keep those feet straight. Keep your balance as best as possible. I'm showing on this side a little bit. And with this, I don't really prescribe sets and reps, really whatever you feel like doing. I personally do the whole series that I'm showing, about five to 10 minutes in a day. Maybe I need to work on spending more time on it, but I like to keep it as something very sustainable that I do every day, where my feet kind of waking up, they feel alive. And for any sporting endeavor, these feet need to work correctly. You need to get those toes to feel and sense the ground beneath you. You need to be able to keep those feet straight. All that together is going to lead to increased performance in your sport, hands down. You get the feet working, we get the core working, I'll be sharing videos of that here soon. You're going to be performing how you want. Guys, if you found this video helpful, like, subscribe, comment, let me know you like future videos, but, be, but feel sure to connect with me and let me know how I can help you on your uh, training journey to become better at whatever sport it is.